They were working within about three meters of live 11,000 volt cables. Sweet, take two. Hi, I'm Bailey Ward. I'm the site supervisor for stage two of demolition. One of the challenges demolishing the pipe work was the 100 millimeter thick chrome molly, which couldn't be cut by machine and we had to gas cut. Every three meters of chrome molly weighed a ton. We salvaged various items. This included two stainless steel tanks, all of the office furniture was donated to non-profit organisations and the carpet was recycled. One of the key challenges on the site has been the close proximity to the power lines and the live switchyard. We'd adjust a lot of our methodologies to minimise the dust and vibrations. This meant increased working at height and crane lifts. We craned the top two sections of the boilers The top piece weighed 17 tonnes and the bottom was 13. Our 70 tonne link belt high reach was brought in to remove the six in canal bundles, each weighing roughly 80 tonnes. I'm Jyoti Jain from Watt Demolition. I'm the project manager of South Down Power Station. One of the biggest challenges on the project has been to process the Inconel bundles. Inconel is nickel chrome based super alloy that's double the strength of structural steel. It is a high value metal and needed to be sorted into six different grades. The high strength and stainless steel added washer means it didn't easily cut. The only thing that worked was to use arc cut off saw through the middle and remove each strand by machine. Then incise and stockpile for loading. Every pile had to be pre-weighed to ensure we didn't overload or underload the containers. The roof of the turbine hall required hand removal during the scheduled power outage to ensure the safety of our team and that no debris flew into the switchyard. We kept the walls of the turbine hall in place while we broke out the plinth to encapsulate the dust. We craned down the gantry and gently demolished the steel structure. All of the concrete was crushed on site to the grade AP40 and was reused to backfill the foundations. The client requested a plague impact value of 32 alongside NDM testing of 95% for every 500 meter square or 500 millimeter lift, which is motorway grade specification. 100% of the site concrete was recycled back into the foundation. Considering the challenges we have had here, we couldn't have done it without such an amazing team. The successful completion of this project really comes down to having an amazing project manager and a really hard working team.